probably wondering what this is. You've seen this before, I'm sure. Just bear with me. Put this one in and then we'll go over what's happening. It's, uh, let's see. 1.20 a.m. I'm out here in the garage doing some stuff. You'll see in a, in a minute. Let me get this hole tapped and we'll go from there. Okay, now we're going to have to reposition the camera so I can uh, show you what's going on here. Yeah, let's see. Give me a second and uh, reposition all this so we can get to it. This is a fixture plate for RM250 Suzuki engine case. It belongs to a fella from Missouri. Alright, let me reposition this. Hopefully it's not too too much. Make sure it's aimed where it needs to be. Okay, yeah, that's pretty good, I suppose. Yeah. Okay, so let me show you here what's going on and why I'm going to the trouble of doing this. Um, On. Okay. Here's the engine case. If you look here, I don't know if this will show up in the shot, but that is a crack. Let me get a pointer instead of my fat finger. All right. Okay. So uh, it's broken here too. I don't know if that'll show up. I need to put a little more light on it so you can see it. Uh, yeah, there it is. So this is broken here. It's cracked there. And the problem with this, this crack, it goes down in here. There's like absolutely no way to get to it. And then this, this crack is the one that goes down like that, goes around here. So what we're going to do is we're going to fix this hole by putting the boss back. Um, so what happens going to mill this out completely and this plate is going to be the plate to stop it from walking around when it gets welded after it gets machined I'm going to um, after I cut that boss off right here it's filled in. I'm going to leave it on this plate the whole time. So what I'm going to do, do is put this on this plate on an angle plate, and that will stand the case up for me like this. And then I'll plunge mill one shot. I'll catch the I'll catch the bulk of the hole, and I'll take one shot down unbolt this from the plate or from the angle plate weld that back in put this boss back one piece and then drill and tap for the stud and also there's a counter bore for this it's a 13.1 millimeter is the OD of this this is an alignment dull so that has to go in there. So basically, we're going to be able to bolt. Let's see. 
here somewhere. I'm going to have to swap these hex heads out for uh, either slotted. Uh, I knocked it down. Yep. Either these fully threaded slotted heads. They're cheap. It's pretty easy to cut the ends off so they don't stick through the plate. Or um, socket heads. I don't have a lot of uh, socket head screws. These all line up nice. So it's going to be like that. And then the angle plate to stand it up. I know I'm repeating myself, but just um, going over it again. So, meanwhile, part of my um, moving on to something else that's going on. Um, hopefully, you can see my mug. So, something else that's going on is the shop's an absolute mess. As I try to reorganize and trying to sort stuff out and all that, you've all done it if you have your your shop of any kind. You've had to do it. So as I do it, I realized I've had these cabinets for probably three months, two months, three months at least. That I needed to get them in here, and there really wasn't room. And part of the problem with making room was getting the stuff I need to get picked up, picked up, because I had tooling over there, tooling over there, tooling behind me, and tooling over there where you're behind you. And so, what I did was I brought in this today, this Vidmar cat, or um, yeah, this one's a Vidmar, and it's a. Uh, it's a surplus, or not surplus, but it came out of uh, General Electric. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. It may wash out or not. Anyhow, um, it's actually in pretty good shape overall. And as we all know, um, you need room to put your stuff away. So, I have this and... I have a, um, I think it has eight drawers, but I have dividers like this. I have a whole bunch of those down here in a drawer. Uh, the fellow that brought this to me, uh, yeah, the dividers are all loose. Um, he, uh, I, when I bought it, I asked them how much it weighed, and they... The people at the auction, they said, oh, it probably weighs, you know, 300 pounds. I'm like, okay, well, I didn't know any better. The guy's like, man, this thing's like wicked heavy. And I thought, wow, that's, that's weird. There we go. A whole bunch of uh, separators, dividers. I think there's a whole bunch of the, the little, yeah, maybe not these. But anyway, what it's going to do is let me get some trays. I can put my stuff. I started accumulating it over here to put away, and it's um, it's just one of those things, you know. Um, have to bite the bullet, get the stuff moved around where it's going to go, and get the stuff out that's not staying, and uh, get the machinery in here, and I can carry on. But uh, it takes time moving that cabinet today. Uh, did it by myself. Um, a lifelong friend of mine would normally be available to come up. I was going to do something like that and help me out. But he unfortunately had shoulder surgery about three weeks ago. Came down with an infection. So I had to open him back up yesterday. So needless to say, he's out of commission. And... Uh, so I did the best I could. It wasn't pretty, but I got it in here and didn't hurt anything or myself, so there we go. At any rate, um, I'll make some video of this engine case getting uh, worked on. And uh, hopefully I can get this done and get it back to the guy. And That's going to probably wrap it up for now. I didn't have anything real earth-shattering to... Uh, share. Um, 
I don't think you guys want to watch me put tools and equipment away. When I go to bring the machines in, maybe. Uh, that might be interesting. But right now I'm making the space and trying to stem the tide of some things that I took in to, to do and I'm wrapping them up and trying to get them out. Some of the stuff's been here a really long time. I've had this engine case probably at least six months and um, I'm just not reliable enough these days to to get stuff done in a, in a you know, reasonable amount of time. So. That's it for now. Uh, those of you that subscribe, thank you. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all later.